good morning from my new home. Feels very weird to be filming this home and be sitting here and it's all very different, isn't it? Um, but we're in our new home. It's post Christmas, post new year. It's my first video that I'm uploading on this channel this year, I think. But happy new year. I hope you all had a lovely Christmas and new year. I'm excited to share with you and start this series of renovating and doing up this house because it's going to be a whole project. It's going to take a long time, but I'm going to document it all on this channel. I got so much feedback from the last video, the tour, where everyone said, yes, 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 please do renovation videos. So the way I'm gonna do it, because we do have a vlog channel, and I mentioned that, is that I'm gonna be vlogging three times a week on our vlog channel, just everything that's going on day to day, kind of that type of stuff, so you get all the updates as they happen. And then on this channel, once a month or once a fortnight, if it's getting busy, I will be recording updates, like diaries of the renovation, starting with today, which is gonna be a kind of like, before so like an update on how the house is now since we've moved in because the last time I showed you it was empty um, Some of the plans that I was thinking to do have changed a bit We've spoken with some builders and it's a whole new thing on my channel. So I hope you enjoy it I'm fascinated by this kind of thing on YouTube I watch so many renovation videos and DIY videos on houses and I love seeing people's homes So I hope a lot of you guys enjoy this as well it's kind of strange because it's the new year and I moved into a new house in the new year. We went, we stayed with my parents over Christmas, so I wasn't really in this house over Christmas. We don't have any internet and it's kind of been a weird transition. Uh, it's a strange start to the year. I'm so used to being settled in the new year, writing down intentions and goals and being very organised and, you know, starting off the year on a sort of fresh foot and setting goals and achieving them. And the last week has been kind of very higgledy-piggledy. So I'm looking forward to getting my life sorted and organising this house so it feels like a home and getting into a routine. But today is my first day back at work. So that's kind of nice and it's also my first day back at the gym. I haven't been to the gym for since in Brighton, so a month or so, which is weird. <laughs> and today also is back to work. Even though we don't have internet, I'm going to try and do as much work as I can possibly do and we get internet tomorrow. So yeah, let's get going and I will have my breakfast and then show you around the house a bit and talk to you about some of the plans that we're having and some of the changes that we've made since the last video and what we're gonna be doing first and everything like that. So I'm gonna enjoy this and I'll be back in a moment. Right, so I'm gonna to say to excuse the mess in advance because we don't have a lot of furniture, a lot of our stuff is just kind of sitting in piles. We need to sort that out. But at this stage, we've done our best. <laughs> this is the living room as it is now. So we've got the sofa set up. Our books, that's some, I don't know, Alex's TV and gaming stuff, I'm not really sure. And then here, we need to take this chest of drawers up to the office, and then this is some, uh, our memory boxes and some games. Um, but it's starting to kind of look like a home in here. So, that's nice. And then the hallway, hello Alex. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> The hallway is pretty simple, there's not really much in here, there's some things that need to go to the charity shop and also the attic, we have an attic now, it's so weird, but um, we've hung up our coats, it's handy that there's a little coat rack and then our shoes are down there. And then the kitchen is probably the biggest change and actually the area of the house that feels very much like home, which is lovely. So we put the table in this room, this is an old table that my parents have had for years, it's so cool, I'm so happy to have it back. We used to have it in our flat in Cornwall um, and we need to get some more chairs for it. So I've been looking on the Facebook marketplace for that. And then we've got some cookbooks on the windowsill and some plants and stuff. That's my lighting equipment and things. And then the kitchen is the place that kind of feels like it's ours now. So we've put everything out in the kitchen, ignore the drying up all of our kettle and I've got some new knives there how exciting so many of you complain about my blunt knives and we got this fridge off the marketplace for 80 pounds which is incredible so that's really good got my plant there so that's feeling a lot more like home I'm mentioning the Facebook marketplace and honestly if you've moved to a new home or you want something go on the Facebook marketplace 
because it's literally the best thing in the world. They have so much stuff on there and you can just search what you want. So I just searched for a fridge and there were loads of fridges on there locally and this was only 80 quid and it's basically brand new. It looks so nice inside. And because we're gonna be doing up our kitchen in the next year, I didn't wanna buy a new fridge because I'd probably get a nicer fridge or a, a much bigger fridge when we have our new kitchen because obviously my job is food and I want to have a really big space for everything that I need in the freezer and the fridge and all of that for when I'm cooking recipes and stuff. But um, this will do for, for now and I'm very, very happy with it. And everything's in the cupboard like you saw this morning, all of my jars and there's more food in here and there's a lot more space which is quite nice. Um, there's some condiments and glasses and it feels like a very lovely kitchen now which I'm really happy about so watch out for lots of recipe videos in this kitchen. So this little back section which you saw in the tour is, is becoming our kind of storage for crap we don't know where to put right now. So this is the situation in here. This is embarrassing, <laughs> this is not good. But we have just moved and I want to be real, I want to be honest about all of this because Yes, I am someone who talks about minimalism a lot and all that kind of stuff and organization, but I'm still human and I've moved house. A lot of this honestly is Alex's stuff. He has a lot of cleaning things for his car and his bike and there's lots of bike stuff. Um, there's a power washer, there's tennis rackets. There's So it's honestly most of this is either Alex's or things for our bikes and car. So it's not actually that bad really if you haven't by the way if you're watching this video and you haven't seen the tour go and see the tour so you can see the house properly because this won't show you the house properly so the bathroom downstairs is basically the same haven't really done much in here there's very little storage in this house so i've still got a box of um some of my toiletries there haven't emptied them into there yet our ensuite upstairs is tiny and there's like no storage in either of the bathrooms um, so that's why we're going to be doing the bathroom first so I will go upstairs and I'll show you that and talk about it the bathroom I'll go to the bathroom in a minute I'll show you the situation that's happening in our bedrooms because it's not not the best <laughs> I've unpacked my clothes here and then we have our jumpers here it looks like I have a lot of jumpers because one two three four of those are my merch so I just got way more jumpers than I used to. I used to just have one kind of pile of them. And then down here is toiletries and miscellaneous and I don't even know what. This is a mattress that we need to put in the other room. Here's Alex's clothes back here. And it's all a pretty disorganized mess. In our flat in Brighton, we had a really big cupboard and also we had a bed frame that had storage underneath it. So in the cupboard I put all of our jumpers, Alex had all his t-shirts in there, he had all of his shirts and that kind of stuff and then under the under the bed I used to have my, my pyjamas and my workout clothes so we don't have any chest of drawers and we need to get one. My sister says that she might have one we can borrow so that would be good and if not we'll just get a second hand one on the Facebook marketplace until we do up this room because we have plans for this room which I'll talk about now which is very exciting but I'm glad at least that my clothes are hung up and I can see them because we had a few days where they were all like in boxes still and I was like wearing the same clothes. But it's really, really emphasised a huge need for decluttering because when you move house you realise how much stuff you have and even someone who's done a lot of decluttering over the years, I still accumulate things and it still frustrates me because some of these clothes I don't wear and I just, I look at this and I just think that's a lot. I know that's not mine, but I just look at this and I just think, I don't know, I just want to... I want to clear out a bit. So yeah, the, the bathroom, this is the bathroom. The small little ensuite. So it's very small, hello. This is the only cupboard that we have, which I've just temporarily put some of my necessities. This is Alex's stuff. And then here's some of my things and they're the things I use day to day. And then the sink is the tiniest sink on this planet. You have to like duck your head under the cupboard to um, do your teeth but it's like fine for now so what we basically what we were saying in the last video in our tour video I said that we were going to um, remove the ensuite and then just kind of move it across into the second bedroom which is through here and that would mean that there would be like a on, uh, on uh, not an ensuite there would be a bathroom that would be able to access from the hallway but that would still enable us to have the fourth bedroom now some of you commented why don't you just get rid of the smaller bedroom um, and get rid of this ensuite so you have 
a bigger bathroom and we thought about it and we had thought about it before but we were kind of going through it and we were thinking actually that's what we're going to do because if we move this en suite so let me try and explain um we were originally planning on moving the en suite so it kind of come to here and then up to here and then there'd be a doorway into the en suite and then a doorway into the bedroom but it would have made the bedroom minuscule like so small that you could only fit a bed and nothing else in it so instead we're going to make this room into a bathroom so i'll talk about that in a, a little bit more in a second but let me just show you the last few rooms what they're like right now this is our office space it's a bit of a mess it's a bit chaotic so right now it's looking like this all of our stuff is everywhere we haven't even got round to sorting it out lots of things are on charge um those are some empty boxes and then i don't even know more empty boxes and then this is the room that we've been sleeping in and it's a bit messy in here too. We've got a bed frame off Facebook Marketplace as well because it's amazing. And look at this bed frame. I think it's so nice. This was only 50 pounds. It is such a find. It's one of those lovely ones I've been seeing all over Pinterest. I've been Pinteresting like a mad woman and I saw this bed everywhere or a bed similar to this. It kind of looks like a Victorian hospital bed or something, but I love it and it's in this beautiful kind of gray color rather than black so it's kind of like a steely color now we have the mattress from next door uh we're gonna make that up and make this into a guest bedroom and kind of make it feel like it's kind of done in a way or it feels cozy and then move our mattress next door so the reason that our mattress is in here and not in our master bedroom is because there's a tiny little hole in the corner i'm not going to show you because i know a lot of people are scared of spiders there's a tiny little hole in the corner and there was a spider in it and we put the mattress down i got into bed i lay down and then right there by my face was a hole with a spider and i literally jumped up freaked out and i was like we are not sleeping in here we need to move the mattress and that was it and i haven't been back in since and yeah, we need to deal with that. So we're gonna move that today and then set the bed up. So I'll show you that and hopefully the room will feel more like, the rooms will feel more like rooms rather than just kind of like our stuff dumped. And it's kind of weird sleeping on the floor. Although we'll still be sleeping on the floor next door. Yeah, maybe we'll sleep in this room, the guest room. I don't know. It's annoying because our bed is a, a European king, which is kind of an awkward size. Uh, we got it discounted at I Ikea last year and it's difficult to find bed frames for a European king, but hey ho. Um, so the first thing we're doing, so we had builders round the other day and the first thing that we're going to be doing is the bathroom and the master bedroom. So in here you can see this kind of bit here. This is a chimney breast and it can be removed. It's removed in the attic, it's removed downstairs and for some reason they've left it in this floor i don't know why but we're going to remove that so it allows more space in here and what we're planning on doing is having a shower there having a toilet here a lovely freestanding bath here which i'm so excited for because it's going to look so beautiful and traditional underneath the mirror and then like a sink unit here and for the sink unit i really want to get like an old vintage chest of drawers or something and then put a sink on top i've seen a lot of it on pinterest i'll insert a photo of what I mean and then a beautiful mirror and we're going to have panelling on the walls like tongue and groove panelling like we have in the hallway so it looks very cottagey and um, I'm really excited because it's going to look lovely and we're also going to be changing the windows because the windows right now don't look very cottagey they look a bit too modern so we're going to be changing them to lovely casement windows with the crisscross so it looks cottagey and cute and having lovely um, blinds and it's gonna look so so lovely so i'm very excited about that. that those are the plans we're also painting the doors i know a lot of you are like don't paint the doors they're so cute but honestly they aren't very good quality doors they're not old doors they're quite new um and they're not like the highest quality thing so i'm not really losing out and um i really like the look of white doors and traditionally they would have been painted um in a house like this they wouldn't have been left like this and they just i don't know if you can see but the coloring isn't the best and i just yeah i suppose it doesn't really matter because it's my home so people maybe just have different tastes and things and some people like exposed wood like this but i just think it would look way better white um and then this room because the ensuite will be gone that will allow this room to be a lot bigger so again there's a chimney breast here and this is going to go this whole ensuite's gonna go. So this room will become a really big 
proper ensuite so when you walk in the room it is a properly large bedroom which i think will make the house feel a lot more like a proper house if you have a proper bathroom a proper master suite and then two smaller bedrooms one which can be uh, another bedroom and one which can be maybe a nursery or a study and because there's like no storage in this house we're going to put a big built-in wardrobe at the bottom there it will make it our lives a lot easier to have it built in and i just think it will look really neat and tidy and a good use of that space so that's what i plan on doing on here we're also going to have the floorboards exposed we've got beautiful old floorboards um, in here and in the bathroom and then we're going to re-carpet the other half of the house so this carpet will go and we'll put nicer carpets in and then these two bedrooms also will be recarpeted. I don't want floorboards everywhere upstairs because I know that it will make it feel cosy um, but I also do want to expose some of the floorboards because they are very beautiful and we're also going to change all the windows so <laughs> feel like I've talked a lot but whatever um, these windows will be changed we were going to go for sash windows but they're very expensive compared to casement windows um casement windows are the ones that open like that whereas sash windows open up and down and they're a lot cheaper and they're also more cottagey traditionally so i think it will suit kind of like the one in the holiday you know the cottage in the holiday they have lovely cute little casement windows one thing that's really great is that we spoke to the builders and they said that if we want to use them they are available um in a couple weeks time because a job that they're doing has halted because of money reasons and they're having to stop work on it so they're actually randomly free which isn't typical because usually you have to book builders in months in advance so we're so lucky with that and it's recommended by a friend who um, these builders built their house so they're really great builders and they can come in in a couple weeks so we can get started straight away which makes me so excited and I think that I'm gonna start doing some DIYs or we are gonna start doing some DIYs that half of the house because we're gonna sand the flooring, we're gonna paint everything, we're not gonna pay for someone to paint. So I think that that half of the house, cause it's only gonna be recarpeted, we can start painting cause the builders are not going in there. So, but there's gonna be a lot of painting to do cause it's gonna paint all of these in all the corridors and everything. Oh, look here, I pulled down, so there were paintings here. If you remember from the tour, and I said I didn't, wasn't keen on those paintings, and underneath them were like stickers, like floral decal stickers. What have you done? There we go. I'm gone. Renovations have begun. <laughs> so I ripped those off, and then that happened. So <laughs> we're going to have to paint the hallway. Thing is, I'm I'm cautious of painting hallways because the builders being going in and out with stuff will probably ruin it. So I'm probably not going to do that until a lot later, but. So I've done enough talking now. I'll get back to you in a little bit later when we are doing the bed upstairs because that should make a really big difference and the rooms then should start to feel like bedrooms. Mm -hmm. 